Hi everyone, I'm Chelsea from Pest Brigade. Uh, we provide natural solutions and DIY projects for anyone looking to get rid of pests in and around their home. Today, we're going to be talking about neem oil. Neem oil comes from neem trees in India. It's been used for centuries to make wax, oil, soap, and even cosmetic products. Um, but more importantly, neem oil can be used as a natural solution to get rid of pests in your garden and on your plants. So it's not going to harm your plant life. It's perfect for your garden and the indoor plants. Neem oil can help protect against several different kinds of pests, including aphids, mealybugs, white flies, fleas, caterpillars, Japanese beetles, mites, ants, cockroaches, flies, termites, mosquitoes, and even bed bugs. Um, real neem oil is dark brown with a yellowish tint and it has a strong odor. Most of the stuff you find in health food stores or on Amazon isn't real neem oil but neem oil extract. In these products the main ingredient that actually fights off pests is removed. I'll list an Amazon link to the real stuff below, um, but you'll likely find neem oil in specialty stores in your hometown. The easiest way you can tell if your neem oil is real is if it's solid. So you can see this is like completely solid right here. Um, that's why I'm gonna be putting this in some hot water just to loosen it up. Um, and later in the video, I'm gonna go over how to properly store your neem oil so that it doesn't go bad. For this recipe, you're going to need neem oil, natural liquid soap, water, and a spray bottle. In your spray bottle, mix one quart of water with one tablespoon of natural liquid soap and neem oil. For the soap, I'm using Dr. Bonner's peppermint soap. Peppermint is great for deterring pests and it'll help mask some of the smell of the neem oil. I know not everyone can afford Bonner's, but all you need is a mild liquid soap, so even Dawn dish soap will work for this. A stronger spray meant for a garden or a highly infested plant, mix two tablespoons. For normal maintenance and prevention, only use one tablespoon. Shake your sprayer until everything is mixed. You may need more soap if your mixture is still separating. I'm using an air pressure sprayer. I got this one from the dollar store, but you can also get these at Home Depot and other garden centers. You can also use just a regular spray bottle. Pop the nozzle until you feel resistance. Press the spray button and spray. You will need to shake in between treating your... Neem oil is great for cleaning dirt and minerals off of your leaves and preventing pests. I'm gonna do this neem treatment on my Monstera since we just got a few new leaves. I'll be starting by spraying down both sides of the leaves and the stems. Next, I'm gonna coat the soil in case any pests are burrowing down there. I'll finish off cleaning my plant by wiping the leaves with a gentle cloth. Remember to keep your plants out of direct sunlight after treating them with neem oil. Neem oil can burn the leaves if they're overexposed during the next day or two. Do this treatment on your indoor plants every one to two weeks. I'm going to do a similar treatment in my garden. However, I'm going to spray my crops later in the evening. Do, do, do this treatment at least once a week on your garden crops. You can see my garden has a lot of issues with flies. This is because I use fish fertilizer on my crops. The neem oil treatment won't get rid of my pests right away, but it will prevent future generations from breeding and repel pests. You should start to see results in three to four weeks. Treat neem oil like you would any other fresh ingredient. If you plan on using it often, it's safe to store in a cool, dry place. However, you likely won't use it all right away, so you should store it in your fridge. I put the bulk of my neem oil in my fridge and then I'll store the rest of the leftover spray with my other natural solutions. Now even though neem oil isn't toxic, try not to get it near your eyes or your mouth or anywhere else that's sensitive and always wash your hands after using it. It is quite stinky after all. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching and subscribe to Pest Brigade for more natural pest solutions. Let me know in the comments if there's anything else you would like to see and check out my blog in the description.